If you've ever needed to figure out which breaker controls a specific outlet or light in your house, you know how frustrating it can be to randomly flip switches until you get it right. Today I'm going to walk you through a beginner friendly guide on how to use a circuit breaker finder. More specifically, we'll be using the Kai Wheats circuit breaker finder to make that job quick and easy. The kit comes with two parts, a transmitter and a receiver. The transmitter is the piece you plug into the outlet or connect to a light socket adapter and it sends a signal through the circuit. The receiver is the handheld probe we sweep across the breaker panel to detect that signal. Together, they let you identify exactly which breaker feeds that outlet without the guesswork. We'll start by making sure your receiver has fresh batteries, then plug the transmitter into the outlet you want to trace. Step number one is going to be make sure that that outlet has power and is working. Because if you see this outlet here, it is not on and it's not working. You'll know that it's live because you'll see the transmitter light up and you'll see the voltage readings on the LCD screen start to vary. And as you can see, this is a GFCI, so pressing the test button should trip the outlet, but the reset button should pop out and stay out. This is actually what it's designed to do. It means there's too much current or there's some other current that's feeding this outlet and it's more than the capacity of the outlet. So this is a design safety feature that's actually working. Meanwhile, the outlet right behind it is live. But once it's on and you know that it's working, head over to your breaker panel with the receiver. Turn it on and slowly sweep it across the rows of breakers. On your first pass, you're just getting a feel for where the strongest signal is. On the second pass, we're going to go slower and watch the receiver's display or listen for the change in tone. When the correct breaker is found, you'll know it because it will have this loud continuous beep and a clear indicator on the screen. Once you've identified the breaker, flip it off and then go back to the outlet to confirm that the transmitter has lost power. This step is important because sometimes nearby breakers can give you a false positive and I'm going to show you an example of that in a moment. But if it's still live, repeat the scan until you get it. You'll know that it's still live because the green light that says correct will still be solid and you'll still have varying voltage readings. Now, if you're getting multiple signals from various breakers, then you're going to have to check each one of those individually. It's possible that the receiver picks up a false positive from a nearby breaker, and this is a pretty common issue. This happens because wires run side by side in the panel and the signal bleeds over. The outlet may also be on a different circuit than expected. Sometimes outlets are tied into other lighting or another room's breaker and not the one that you would assume. And in some cases you have an actual wiring issue. The circuit could be double tapped or sharing a neutral in a way that confuses the finder. But if the outlet stayed live, then the breaker you flipped is simply not the right one. But if you are getting two readings, then you'll have to shut one off and go back and just manually check it. And that's it. Using a circuit breaker finder is that simple. It's a beginner friendly tool that can save you a lot of frustration and time when working around the house. But I hope this was helpful. Reach out anytime with questions or concerns and have a great day.